Good night, my viewers and my subscribers. Tonight, I am here one more time for prayer. But before I go into prayer, I just want to share a little bit with you on the subject of forgiveness. And forgiveness, I said I don't talk on forgiveness already. But I'm still going to share this tonight because I believe that forgiveness need to speak because a lot of us is walking around with unforgiveness. A lot of us, I walk around with unforgiveness for a long time and unforgiveness can cause us to have strokes, it can cause us to have nervous breakdown. It can cause us to commit suicide. It can cause us to take other people's life. Unforgiveness is a very painful and destroyful thing. But many of us do not know that. And tonight I'm going to go into prayer. And my prayer tonight is about forgiveness so before i go into prayer i want to read this little thing that i write down here and it said why do we why do we need to forgive someone that is a question why do we need to forgive someone there's people out there right now listening to me and walking around with unforgiveness because they do not believe that they need to forgive. But I am going to go deeper into this. And it's, I also say here, it said, I was accused for a crime that I was not guilty of. I was accused of a crime that I was not guilty of. Now, I could walk around and say, I am not going to forgive my accused because I have never done anything. I have never done anything. So why do I need to forgive? No, I find out through the word of God that was written to me that if I don't forgive I have no connection with God I could be a bishop I could be a pastor I could be an evangelist I could be a deacon and I could preach from now until God come unless I forgive I have no part with God no, when I was walking around with unforgiveness, I was in church for many years. Someone hurt me, I get bittered, I get anger, I get upset, I want to take life, I almost want to take my own life. But the word of God come to me through a servant of God who pined out to me. You can preach and teach and pray. The people who you preach to will accept Jesus Christ and become saved. But at the end, you who preach and pray for the sick and the sick ill, you will end up in hell. And those people who you pray for will see God. So I have to go into the word of God for myself and look up the word of God deeply and question myself and take myself to a place of forgiveness. So tonight, the word of God in 1 John 1 and verse 9 and 10, he said, if we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sin 
to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 10. If we say that we have no sin, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. So if we confess our sin to God, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sin. But if me and you say we have no sin, then we make God's word a liar. Me and you cannot make God's word a liar. We make ourselves a liar. I get to understand and realize from myself how powerful unforgiveness is. How much unforgiveness can damage us. I go into Matthew. Matthew 6, 14 and 15. It said, For if we forgive man their trespass, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if he forgive not man their trespass, neither will your Father forgive your trespass. So that is telling me if I don't forgive my brother and my sister, I have no part with God. God will never forgive me. It don't matter what I do, how I do, when I do. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, his word is said, if I do not forgive he will not forgive me. So therefore, I want to encourage you, my brother. I want to encourage you, my sister, to look into your life and begin to ask yourself, Christian, when I realize how powerful the word is, when I realize how powerful God's word is, I have to take a check and look back into my life. I have to go down on my knee and cry to God and ask God to forgive me. No, for God to forgive me, I have to make peace with my accused. I have to make peace with the people who hate me and who I hate. And to do that, I have to make phone call. I have to meet people. I have to hug them and embrace them deep from within. And ask God for pardon me for the time that I've been hunger, bitterness, carrying around 80 days time where my whole body becomes shaking because of unforgiveness. But God... Jesus, the faithful one, the loving God, the forgiving God, the God who take himself to Calvary Cross and crucified. His blood was shed. He was chastised for my sin, for your sin. The same God is the forgiving God. The one who forgive me of my ignorance, my stupid, ignorant ways. That caused me to want to commit suicide and take my own life. The same God who I believe went to the cross and died for my sin. He went to the grave and he raised from the dead and he extended my life. That I can stand here today to say to you my brothers and sisters. God is calling upon you. Jesus is calling up on you. If there is anyone in your heart, in your mind, who you're carrying bitterness, hunger, and unforgiveness in your heart, Jesus is saying, let go. 
let go. Unforgiveness will take your life. It will give you strokes. It will put you in your bed. It will take your life. Let go. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I come before your presence tonight. And I am praying tonight in the name of Jesus for people who is carrying unforgiveness in their heart, who is walking the street with bitterness and hunger and hatred. Brother is not speaking to sister. Sister is not speaking to brother. Auntie is not speaking to cousin. And true life we have all these bitterness and hungerness. In church, church sister is not speaking to church sister. Church brother is not speaking to church brother. For whatever the reason is, we speak to one another, but at the same time we sulk and we grumble around corner. Jesus is saying today, today is the day it stopped. You will pay the price. You will pay the consequence if you do not. God is saying, you hear my word. Add not your heart. Mother is not talking to daughter. Daughter is not talking to mother. Jesus is saying, whatever the situation is, Today is the day. I call upon you today to surrender. You hear the sound of my voice. I am saying to you, give up unforgiveness. Give up bitterness. Give up hatred. Give up bad mind. Jesus saying, if you do not, you have no part with him. Jesus is saying, if you do not surrender to him, you have no part with him. So I am praying this day, as you hear the word of God, you will add not your heart. You will surrender to the will of God. Do not leave this place today the same. God has spoken. You hear the word. Jesus has said, none of us know our minute. None of us know our hour. You might be in church for 20 years. But if you die tonight and you die with unforgiveness in your heart, you have no part with God and you are just going to hell. We don't want to hear the word hell, but that is where we're going if we are not with our Creator. This message might sound harsh, but Jesus Christ of Nazareth have given me a word and I promise God that whatever you told me, I will speak it in the name of Jesus as long as you give me authority to speak. Whatever you show me, I will speak it in the name of Jesus as long as you give me authority to speak it. I ask you, God, to open my mouth and use it as a microphone that I will speak whatever you allow me to speak. God, I surrender my life to you, to your will and to your way. And I am asking you tonight to release your anointing. Release your anointing, release your Holy Spirit to come upon me 
and teach me wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that God, whatever I do, wherever I go, whoever I speak to, I will speak in the name of Jesus. I will speak with the authority that given to me to speak. I will not, God, I promise, I will not water your word. Jesus, I promise, I will not water your word. Whatever you put on my lips, God, I will speak in the name of Jesus. I surrender my life to your will. I surrender my life to your ways. And I say, God, by your authority, I will do your will as I surrender. Lord, take over fully control of my life. Take over fully control of my life as I surrender. And tonight I say, God, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon your people. And allow the Holy Spirit of God to move and operate within us. That we will turn from sin to grace. God, we will acknowledge you as Lord and Savior. We will turn from wrongs. We will turn from darkness to light. God, open the heart, the mind, the body, and the spirit of your children that we will be humble and faithful to you. To you, Jesus, I give all glory. To you, I give all praise. To you, I give all honor. And to you, I say, God, thank you for what you have done in my life. And thank you for what you're about to do in the rest of my life as I surrender and humble myself before you. Heavenly Father, take over fully control of my life. Use me for your glory. Use me for your benefit. Lord, I surrender my life again to you. I surrender my life to your will and to your way. And I ask you to release the Holy Spirit of God to work and operate within me. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day that you have made. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I thank you for this day that you have made. I thank you for the Holy Spirit that allow me to come before your prison. Thank you for the privilege that you give unto me. So tonight, Lord, I pray for Luton. I pray for the people of Luton. I pray for the surrounded Luton. God, I pray for our young people, boys and girls, that the power of God, the anointing of God, and the Holy Spirit of God will touch them from the crown of their head and to the sole of their feet. Jesus, our children are dying on the street. I am praying against knife. I am praying against drugs. I am praying against drugs. Mash it. God, I am praying that the power of God will change the life of our young people. Lord, I ask for peace. I ask for wisdom. I ask for knowledge. And I ask for understanding. I say, Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God. I invite you in this town. I invite you in the park. I invite you in the club. I invite you on the street that God, you will speak life into our young people. Heavenly Father, hear my prayer tonight. Hear my prayer tonight, Lord, as I pray for the parents. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray for the parents that their eyes will be open, that they will see and understand and know what their children are doing. Lord, help them to speak wisdom into their children. 
Lord, I pray that the children will hear the appearance. Heavenly Father, you are also the provider. You are the way maker. You are the deliverer. And you are the problem solver. Lord Jesus, I ask you right now to God, you are the provider and the way maker. So tonight, Lord, I say thank you for provide for your people. Thank you for making a way when it seems like there is no way. Lord, I pray for those who are homeless tonight. I pray for those who are jobless. I pray for those that house hunting. I pray, oh great God, for those who cannot find food to feed their children. Lord, I pray that you will open doors. Every door is that closed. I ask you in the name of Jesus, search the heart of your children. Search the mind of your children. Search the body of your children. God, see the faithful one. See the faithful one, Lord, who need help from you. God, grant them the desire of their heart. Be faithful unto them. Be patient unto them, Lord. Give them the desire of the heart that they will be humble. Humble and faithful to you. Jesus, tonight, I surrender my life. I surrender my body to your will and to your way. I pray tonight, God, for every person that's sick. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray for every person that's sick, going through sickness. In the name of Jesus, whatever your complaint is, whatever your complaint is, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray that the power of God, the Akababa Shakakodobo Shikababa Isokotorobo Shanda, in the name of Jesus, I pray that the power of God will touch every person right now who is going through sickness, whatever your complaint is. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you are the healer. You are the deliverer. You are the way maker. You are the provider. And you are the problem solver. Jesus, you are also the surgeon. God, you are the nurse. You are the medication. You are the painkiller. Jesus, I believe in you, Lord. Kabai Shakotorobo Shanda. I believe in you, Jesus. I believe in the Holy Spirit. I believe in the anointing. Jesus, send you anointing right now. Send you Holy Spirit right now to visit someone. God, someone, somewhere, someplace is crying out for mercy. God, Jesus, have mercy. Jesus, have mercy on your children. Someone, somewhere, someplace tonight is crying out for mercy. God, let the mercy of God, let the mercy of God go forth in the name of Jesus. Touch your children and deliver them from the plan of the enemy. God, I call upon you tonight because you are strong and I am weak. I am asking you to strengthen me in every area of my body. Jesus, there is nothing I can do without you, Lord. But Jesus, you said, if I ask anything, in your name and believe by faith that shall you do 
in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You said, Lord, if I ask anything in your name and believe by faith, that shall you do. So I come in the name of Jesus. I ask in the name of Jesus. I believe in the name of Jesus that whatever I ask tonight, it will be granted unto your children. Heavenly Father, tonight, as I sit, I bring each and every individual who are traveling right now. God, wherever they travel, hear land or sea. Holy Spirit of God, be with them. Guide them, protect them, and deliver them safely to their destination, Lord. I ask these in the name of Jesus. I ask these things in the name of Jesus. And I believe, God, that you hear and you answer prayer. Heavenly Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my family. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray for my family. Lord, I put my wife into your care. And I ask you in the name of Jesus, Lord, stretch your hands. Touch her from the crown of her head and to the sole of her feet. God, empower her with the power of the Holy Ghost. Touch her with the power of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. That God, she will climb the ladder to be in your kingdom. Jesus, take over fully control. Take over fully control and have your way in your life. Lord, remember our children. Remember our grandchildren. Remember our sisters and brother. Remember our nieces and nephew and our in-laws. As I come before you tonight, I surrender, Lord. And I say, God, have mercy upon us, your children. Heavenly Father, tonight, I bring Lucy Pentecostal Church before you right now. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, remember Pastor Ferry. Right now, where he's at home, God is not feeling well. But Jesus, you have placed him as our leader. And God, right now, the enemy is trying to destroy. But in the name of Jesus, God, you have placed him in our care. And we pray that the power of God, the anointing of God, and the Holy Spirit of God will lift him up from the enemy's trap. Let he rise above the enemy's trap. Let he shout for glory. Let he shout for joy. Because Jesus, you are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. Let your light shine so bright in him, God. Let your light shine. That he will be able to see the enemy from far. In the name of Jesus. Lord, remember Sister Bethel. Strengthen her in every area. Remember the family, God. Cover them under the blood of Jesus. God, send the Holy Spirit to build a brick wall around them. To guide and protect them from the plan of the enemy. Because we know the enemy come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But in the name of Jesus Christ, enemy, you will have no power. Over their life. So in the name of Jesus. I release Pastor Ferry. And his family. In the kingdom of God. Holy Spirit. Cover them. Holy Spirit wash them. Holy Spirit direct them. 
in the name of Jesus. Lord, I bring the elders, the deacons, and the trustees before your presence right now. And I ask in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, touch them from the crown of their head and to the sole of their feet. Anoint them with a special anointing, Holy Ghost anointing, in the name of Jesus. Lord, remember the members, the visitors, the praise and worship team, the musician, the nursery, and the staff. <clears throat> Sorry, Lord. The children ministry, the women's ministry, the youth ministry, the men's ministry, the Bible study, and the morning prayer team. God, I pray for each and every individual department that the power of God, the anointing of God, and the Holy Spirit of God will intervene. Lord, remember Lucy Pentecostal Church. Remember Lucy Pentecostal Church, Lord. Lord, take over fully control. Take over fully control. Lord, cover the building. Cover the building, Lord. Every cheer inside there, Lord. Let the Holy Spirit lay hands on them in the name of Jesus. God, I pray for Lucy Farm. Jesus, I pray for Lucy Farm. Dominic Square. God, every person that come there and look across the road on that building, let the Holy Spirit minister to them. God, we give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the praise. Lord Jesus, we need a bigger building. We start to struggle for seating. If it wasn't for Sunday school, there is some day we wouldn't have place to sit people. But in the name of Jesus, we pray that God, you will give us a bigger building. God, we pray in the name of Jesus that you will extend Lucy Pentecostal Church. Because God, your people need a place to worship. Lord, take over right now. You said, God, if I ask anything in your name and believe by faith, that will you do. I believe in you, Jesus. I believe in your word. I believe in the anointing and I believe in the Holy Spirit. So I ask you right now to hear and answer prayer. Heavenly Father, there is nothing I can do without you. This is flesh and rags and mud, clay. Without the anointing and without the Holy Spirit, I am nothing. So I am asking you right now in the name of Jesus, release the anointing, release the Holy Spirit to come and live and dwell and work and operate within me. That I will be able to do the will of my Father. I surrender to you, Lord. I surrender to your will. And I surrender to your way. In the name of Jesus Christ. To God be the glory. Great and wonderful things you have done in my life. And greater to come. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you tonight. Jesus, I thank you tonight. And I said, God, if there is anything that I fail to mention tonight, I am praying that you will hear and answer my prayer, Lord. To God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. To God be the glory. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. To you, my brothers and sisters. If it's your first time tuning into this channel, let me say thank you very much. Thank you very much for stopping by. Thank you very much. If it's your first time coming across this channel, thank you very much for stopping by. And if you never yet subscribed to this channel, it would be nice if you could subscribe, help the channel to grow, share the video, tell someone to go over and check out Bonnie2UK. Let someone be blessed just like you bless. 
And if you like what you see, leave a comments and let me know that you're a part of this channel. God bless you. And I will catch you on the next video. God bless you. I am out.